What is going on everyone? It's your boy CJR Sports and today we're coming back to you with another NFL video. Before we start, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. We have been busting out tons of content over the last couple of days. So to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the notifications button and subscribe. And let's get right into this video. So the player on your screen, Orlando Brown. Kansas City Chiefs offensive tackle, stud offensive tackle. Uh, he's in due for an extension, and extension talks are really heating up. So on June 6th, uh, the Chiefs and Orlando Brown were very close to coming to terms on an extension. It's now July 10th, and there has not been any word of these two sides coming together um, and getting this deal done. Uh, the they want to get a deal done uh, before the July fifteenth deadline at four p.m. And what it seems like, both sides are eager, and it's gonna get done. But they have five days to be able to come to uh, agreement on either a four year or a five year extension, uh, which should believe waive the franchise tag. Um, so according to you know some of the sources. Brown should be expected to make somewhere between eh, 22 to $24 million per year, which with a minimum of 38% of the money will be guaranteed uh, depending upon how many seasons he signs for. So we did a little bit of math. The potential deal can be a five-year $116 million extension with $53 million guaranteed. Or if it's a four-year deal, it'll be a four-year extension. 92 million dollars and about 49 uh, million dollars guaranteed but we got to remember brown is only 26 years old if he gets a four-year deal he gets an he gets to re-up at 30. players are starting to peak at their 30 31 32 so he can still be a top premier tackle at the age of 30 and really double up and go get another massive three four year deal with the Chiefs if he decides to stay with them so with Brown I think if he decides to go with a four year and then he gets the same amount of guaranteed money and gets to re up at 30 I think that's what he would prefer more than the five year deal personally it's the same guaranteed money and guess what I'm a, he, he already knows he's a three-time Pro Bowler. He's an absolute stud, and he's an anchor of that left side of that line. Him and Joe Tooney on the left side of that line, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith, they're really just looking for that other backside tackle, and they will have a complete, complete offensive line. But one of the big issues is that the uh, Kansas City Chiefs are going to have to free up some space. Uh, even if so, and it seems like they're going to try to make uh, a play on another defensive lineman. We kind of see, uh, saw them, uh, kind of are going after Robert Quinn, uh, Ndamukong Sue, his name's been brought up, a trade for Deron Payne from the commanders. The only reason I bring this up is this is going to play a role in the Orlando Brown extension. If they're going to be able to either sign or trade for one of those uh, pillars of their D-line. So they're going to have to extend a pillar of their O-line and they're trying to get a, a pillar of that D-line to really have a chance uh, to beat out the uh, massive AFC because there are some really good teams in the AFC that it's not just the Chiefs anymore. You have the Bills, the Bengals, the Ravens when Lamar comes back. There are so many competitive and good teams in the AFC that they're going to need to be able to compete on both sides of the ball. But let's talk about kind of Orlando Brown's past and where he came from. So if you don't know, he was a three-time Pro Bowler from the Baltimore Ravens prior to last year's draft when he was traded for a first, a third, a fourth, and uh, all those picks were in 2021, and another uh, second and a fifth uh, in this year's draft. So the deal worked for both parties. He wanted to become a left uh, a left tackle, and Baltimore got an absolute haul of picks, 
and he is a mammoth of a human. He is 6'8", 363. He's a mammoth of a human. And so he really fills that left tackle guard very well. He was a right tackle with uh, Ronnie Stanley on the left side in Baltimore. He was the right tackle. Felt like he was better to be uh, better than just a just a right tackle when Ronnie Stanley got hurt. He was, you can say, arguably the reason why Lamar had one of uh, his MVP season when Ronnie Stanley was hurt and Orlando Brown was on the left side. And you, we haven't seen that Lamar since. So... Orlando Brown is an absolute mammoth, and he's a stud. Brown's proven to be reliable blindside, too. Uh, not just for Patrick Mahomes, but his time at Oklahoma when he was blocking for the number one pick who's recently traded to the Carolina Panthers, Baker Mayfield. And we just brought it up that he was the the blocker for Lamar's MVP year in 2019, where Lamar threw for 36 uh, passing touchdowns his career high and running for over 1,200 yards, the most by a quarterback ever. So, and in 2020, he didn't even allow a sack in the 11 games that he played left tackle when Ronnie Stanley was hurt too. So, all need, needless to say, all the stats, yes, Orlando Brown is worth a massive extension. He's worth the upper echelon of 25 years. I mean, 25 mil a year. He truly is. When you have a player as dynamic and that can take your best pass rusher completely out of the game and have uh, the pieces like Creed Humphrey and uh, Trey Smith, who are rookies last year, are only going to get better. That's a massive part, and you got to keep them together. And the way that this team is built now, you don't have Tyree Kill anymore, Kansas City. That's gone. All you have really is Travis Kelsey. MBS seems like he's uh, the best receiver out of uh, minicamp and OTAs. That's the report. Sky Moore looks like he's uh, playing pretty well. Juju looks like he's not where they expect him to be just yet. So... I mean, they got name and notable players, but you need an offensive line first. Give Patrick Mahomes time for those receivers to get open. It's not Terry Killing more where you can just run a slant and have it take it for 75 yards for a touchdown. You're, you're not going to have that that those type of plays anymore. That's going to be slow, methodical drives down the field, and that's, that's going to have to start in the trenches with the offensive line, that's going to start with the, the focal point, the centerpiece of your offensive line, and Orlando Brown. They need to get an extension done before July 15th. They need to. Because if there's a chance that he wants to hold out, he will hold out and he will go get... He, uh, uh, teams will pay two first-round picks for this production. He's 26 years old, and he's arguably one of the best left tackles in the league. Teams will pay big money. Big money for a player like this. But guys, make sure you go subscribe to this channel. And if you enjoyed, like this video. And it's your boy, CJR Sports. And I'm out. Peace, guys.